My name is Chris and today we're taking a look at high-end audio seating from the Valencia Company. Welcome to the Vinyl Attack. Attack! Before we get into the specifics about the Valencia lineup and all the other information that you might be looking for, I must first make you aware that this chair was indeed gifted to me by them. I can assure you that this has nothing to do with their want for a positive review, but far more to do with the shipping and receiving costs that this chair employs. This chair came in a sizable box that was attached to a full-size wooden pallet that was delivered by a 26-foot box truck using a hydraulic lift. You can imagine the futile exercise and logistics that returning this chair would bring for both parties. That is to say, I'm certain they don't want to pay for a return for a used chair, and I'm far too lazy to box it up anyway. As always though, my opinions are completely my own and you can rest assured that they will be as unbiased as is humanly possible in this review. So then, why on earth am I reviewing a chair anyway? Believe it or not, at first I asked myself that very same question. When Valencia reached out to me suggesting a review of their chair, my first inclination was to politely decline. After all, I have a backlog of items that need reviewing. But after giving it a bit of thought, I came to the conclusion that it might be interesting to review something that we don't see a lot of, that being the furniture in which we sit when we listen to our music for extended periods of time. I highly doubt any of us are standing in a sweet spot between our speakers to experience the extended frequency range, soundstage, and holographic nature of the music we are trying to achieve with our two-channel systems. So a good place to sit, or rather, a good chair to sit upon, is something we'll all need. So once an agreement was reached, Valencia shipped my chair, a model called the Naples, the very next day. As I recall, it only took a week or so to arrive, but I believe that's because it's coming from Canada. Valencia is a subsidiary of Edith Min Inc. and is shipped throughout North America by a company called East Porters based in Oakville, Ontario. The East Porters website shows a host of products that are all majorly theater-based available for sale. Everything from big screens to projectors to amps and speakers, it was no wonder that theater seating would be on that list. While the delivery was free, the setup seemingly was not. At least, it wasn't available in my area, even though I'm in Metro Detroit. I don't know how much more mainstream a place could be to receive the offer of free setup. My delivery driver, who was fantastic by the way, said he delivers several of these chairs a month, but setup was never in the contract. I still gave him a fat tip though, as he helped wheel the package to the rear of my house so I could bring it in through the sliding glass door. Be sure to tip your drivers, folks. They work pretty hard. After the lengthy process of removing the box from the pallet, then unboxing the chair and finally assembling it, I was ready to give it a test drive. The good news here is that assembly is a piece of cake, but in my short-sightedness, I forgot to film it as I was simply anxious to get the chair going. All you need to do, however, is slide the back side onto the two side rails that protrude from the base and you're done. From there, you'll need to move it in position and plug it in. This is a power chair after all, but that's it. Sit and enjoy the fruits of your labor and your two-channel system. The model I received, the Naples, is a velour-covered chair with fanciful white piping along the edges and piano gloss black arms. Valencia were initially looking at sending me a different chair, but changed their minds at the last minute with this upgrade. I, of course, had no problem with this, as the Naples is very nice, but it comes with a major drawback, at least for me. Fur. Lots of it. You see, shortly after this chair arrived, my cat Henry decided it was as comfortable as I did. So, as cats are wont to do, he made this his new resting place without even bothering to check with me first. While these images show the cat hair that is collected on the chair, do keep in mind that this is over the course of a week or two. I sat in the chair only intermittently at first before rearranging my entire living room to accommodate it for a full review. I bring this up to point out that if you have animals, you may strongly consider one of their leather or vegan options. Valencia have a wide range of chairs available, even going so far as to allow you to custom build your own. But why this chair as opposed to regular theater seating or any other standard recliner? Well, that comes down to personal preference. The entire reason for Valencia shipping this chair to me for review in the first place was because they wanted to showcase that they're trying to enter the two-channel audio market. While their theater seats are doing quite well, the high back's nature of the chair, that is to say the headrest which you rest your head upon, can cause reflections with audio. While this might not be a very big drawback with a 7.1 or 7.2 channel home theater system, in our two channel world we tend to be a bit more discerning. Valencia is quite aware of this. With the lower height of the backrest on this model, sound reflections at ear level are eliminated. Many standard recliners can cause the same issue, if issue is even the right word, so this is their answer to that solution. 
So does it do what it's supposed to? It certainly did in my experience. While not an overly fanciful chair in its feature set, it had everything that I would personally look for. It's obvious that it's a power recliner, but what might not be as obvious is that you only need a mere 4 inches from this chair to the rear wall to recline. But additionally, it only takes 28 inches of front space for the recliner to fully reach its extended position. Valencia employed a great deal of forethought when it comes to room dimensions and the potential lack thereof one might encounter. We audiophiles don't generally like to sit that close to a back wall when listening to our two-channel systems, but it is nice to know that, should you have a limited in space, this chair will fit in just about any room you have. You'll also find fully adjustable powered lumbar support as well. I didn't think this feature would be very useful to me, but after trying it out over the course of a few weeks with different hardnesses, I was mistaken. A little bit of additional lumbar support was quite welcome when it came to extended listening sessions. It also has LED lighting under the footrest not only for effect, but to easily identify the edges of chair in a dark room. Again, something I didn't think that I would personally need, but found myself using on more than one occasion. One thing it didn't have that the website claimed it did though, was a USB charging port and control panel in the armrest. In the Naples model, there is no inside to the armrest. The gloss black piano sides are solid from stem to stern, with the black velour covering the outside. While that certainly didn't bother me in my listening sessions, being that I'm an analog guy, I can see how having a USB charging port might be handy for those of you who like to stream for your phone or laptop and want a consistent flow of power. So it has a solid feature set, and it looks very nice, but was it comfortable? Definitely. While I won't go over the definition of comfort, as Valencia does on their website, I will say that their thorough research on what makes a chair comfortable was noticeable in my experience. They make note that, as we age, the ability to sit for long periods of time becomes more difficult, generally coming down to the increased pressure points we face. I've encountered a bit of that myself. Their solution was to sample over 1,000 people with varying body shapes and sizes to produce a chair that combats this. They call it a comfort index. By focusing on pressure distribution to make sure that there are no pinch points to affect circulation, ergonomics, which every quality chair should have, material resiliency, which is supposed to make the chair long-lasting, and they do offer an extended warranty, and postural support, i.e. making sure we don't slouch too damn much, Valencia were able to receive an overwhelmingly positive review from 980 out of the 1,000 participants in their comfort study. I stand about six foot tall and weigh in around 230 if I'm being nice to myself and closer to 240 if I'm being honest, and I could say that I would be one of those in the overwhelming positives in this study as well. The chair is just plain comfortable, even for hours at a time. Did it make my music sound better? Obviously not, but it absolutely did make my long listening sessions more enjoyable, making me more prone to have them in the first place. The ability to recline as much or as little as I would like, paired with the lumbar support, soft fabric, and just the right amount of firmness made this seat a welcome addition in my listening area. I had to rearrange several things to make it work properly in my room as I need to buy a bigger house it would seem, but I found the effort well worthwhile. I can't imagine that you would feel any different. But it can't all be sunshine and roses, so let's talk about the negatives of this chair. First and foremost is, while it is a quality piece of furniture and quite comfortable to boot, it's not cheap. On top of that, you have to buy them in pairs at the very least. Valencia is selling me a single chair because they're not trying to give away the store with a review product, but that means if you would like to get one of these chairs, you're going to need to have to at least buy two to the tune of $2,200 each, minimum. The good news is that there are several configurations from which you can choose. The bad news though, is that if you were hoping for just one chair from your listening room, you're out of luck. This clearly won't work for every budget, and I imagine that there will be several spirited debates with significant others if you do want to bring home a pair. The second thing of note, as previously mentioned, is the seating fabric. While it is extremely comfortable, and I don't have many fears about it being long-lasting, its profound nature to collect pet hair and dust is simply extraordinary. That is to say, during a regular week, I might use a pet hair collection brush four to five times just to keep it clean. If you have a pet, I would again stress that you consider a different covering material. I also wish there was a USB charging port. Yes, it's a minor issue, especially for me, but I simply think that it was an oversight on a chair at this price point. Lastly would be my minor concerns with the construction. The cup holders are just shallow enough to be a nuisance rather than a feature. With a deeper cup holder, you don't need to worry about easily knocking a glass from your chair. Here, I would say it's just the opposite. I was constantly aware that having a glass next to me could instantly turn into a spill with just the slightest wrong move. 
the depth of the holder just wasn't enough to secure anything at all. Matter of factly, the arm construction in general was just a little suspect for me. While I don't generally go around shaking the arms of my furniture, when doing a review, I try to cover all of the bases the best I can. The arms of this chair had more side-to-side -side play than I would like to see. Again, I don't see any future issues presenting themselves, but I think you look to these reviews for their transparency, and I would be remiss if I left this out. So then, what are my overall thoughts on the Valencia Naples? Well, if you're still here at this point in the video, there's a good chance that you're either looking for a quality chair and can likely afford it, or you're looking at seating options in general and you want to hear about as many different products as possible. If you can deal with the need of having to order two of them and your listening space permits, I would definitely say that you can count on these to be comfortable additions. While I wouldn't put this chair at the top of my must-have list, I am fortunate enough in my personal two-channel journey that this chair came at just the right time. If you're in a similar situation, I would encourage you to take a look at the Valencia website and see if one of their many offerings might be right for you. Thanks to all of my patrons on Patreon who help make these videos possible. Thanks to you for stopping by to watch, and I look forward to next time.